Hey there, Fias here. I'm going to be doing a face shave. Um, today I'll be using some new stuff and some relatively newer stuff. The new stuff is the Spearhead Shaving um, Black Watch. This is in their new base called Highland Soap Base. And um, there's the ingredients. And the scent notes, thankfully, are on the label. And very easy to read. I actually like this style label. It is simple, like pretty to look at. Um, it has the ingredients and it has the scent notes laid out for you. Um, and it still has some good little like logos and advertising and stuff. So very well done. <clears throat> the pre-shave was the Venule pre-shave oil. I did purchase a big bottle recently. So I'm just going to use up the little one first before I start using the big one and then the razor is the home like taiga that I got from Jim sealers sailors um sorry Jim I honestly don't know how to say your last name I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lather <clears throat> so this is my first time using actually the scent and this base Jim the reason I'm using the taiga together with the soap is because I got the tiger from Jim. I purchased it from him. <clears throat> very reliable seller, shipper, um, very um, fair. So I, I appreciated that and he did a good job selling me that razor. And then he saw that I was interested in the scent. So he was very nice and mailed me a sample of Black Watch. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of feel like I'm fighting something off. I've been working a lot lately, so anyway, but I really enjoyed that scent. I actually did not use the sample he gave me because my friend Christian from the Groomsman um, was really interested in it. So I actually sent him the sample, and the reason being is I can get look at this look at this soap lather. I mean, it's awesome. I can get a feel for the scent just from. Um, the sample that Jim sent me so I just purchased the set and the scent strength is probably about a six six and a half for me and um, that's the main thing I was concerned about because the scent notes are nice um, I can already tell tell that based on what the scent notes are and I really just needed to see how strong it was I'm on setting three on the Tiger I've got a brand new Gillette Super Blue or Silver Blue. Um, so this is kind of a shout out to Jim for letting me get that sample of Black Watch and selling me his Homeock Tiger. Very smooth shaver. Um, I do like the Tiger. It's not my favorite. Um, Adjustable razor. I prefer the Rex Ambassador in the console But it is very good and very smooth and Very um, very efficient actually I am on three because Higher settings, like the gap gets really, really big on there, so I'm just going up. And you can go, it's infinite, so you can go until it stops going. Like, this is the highest it can go, and you can't twist it anymore. That reminds me of, like, the future, or the progress. So let's go back down, I'm back on three. The blade sits more flat in the Tiger versus the Rex Ambassador. <clears throat> so you have to, or I had to adjust my um, shaving angle. Now back to the soap. So what I get scent, nose, scent note wise is. Um, 
I here let's see I definitely get the leather and I definitely get the sandalwood and incense the oak moss bergamot and jasmine are in there they're there to for me they're there to um, round it out and you you get hints of it but to me what stands out is the leather sandalwood and incense and the plum I think is there for my nose it's it helps round things out as well um, so it's a very nice masculine scent it's not overpowering it it can go well for any occasion so very nice scent and spearhead um, nailed it their base I think this is their new base or at least their base that they made for this scent it's awesome I've again I've never actually used this soap even when I had the sample um, and I used more than I needed the base is really soft like really soft um, when I scooped some out I was surprised at how soft it was and the base is is really good I mean it lathered really easily it's really creamy no bubbles And I'm using um, my Razor Emporium Badger brush that I put a um, Vikings beard knot in there, a 24 millimeter knot that I enjoy a lot. <coughs> All right, second pass across the grain. Trim off a little bit of the wild hairs on my mustache. I'm gonna trim that down with a clipper later. Soap is very slick as you would expect from an artisan soap maker. As long as you hydrate these soaps well, you're going to get good results with the soap slickness. I feel like the biggest difference nowadays <clears throat> between the soap bases is what it does for your skin and how well you can lather it. Meaning, some people like certain bases for um, how they lather. Some are thirstier bases than others, and it depends on if you're using a badger or synthetic or a horse or um, boar, and what you like in a lather quality. So that's gonna be the biggest difference is how do you lather and what do you like and how it feels. My favorite bases tend to be the Omnibus base. I like Katie's Bubbles, um, their premium soap base that they came out with. Um, I don't know when they came out with it, but they have it for their 10 and their 5 soaps. And the reason those are my favorite bases is just how creamy they they get and how good they feel on your face. <clears throat> and then some other, but my favorite soaps for skin food and stuff is probably Vanuoy. And three, four, five. Because when you combine their soap base with their uh, splash, my skin, I don't know what it is, but my skin feels perfect. <clears throat> I'm not putting any water on my face. I know last time I kind of showed that when I used the Venulite pre-shave and stuff, 
it's actually worked out really well like I said I purchased the um, the full-size bottle is 25 bucks for four ounces of the appreciate oil which I looked around to see if there are any cheaper options and there really is it I mean especially considering the ingredients because even if you find some that are a couple bucks cheaper per ounce whoops little bloop there um, the ingredients are not going to be as good as anyways with the emu oil and the tea tree oil and stuff like that I couldn't find any I looked at Taconic um, I know Art of Shaving has some and a few other artisans like smaller artisans actually have some pre-shave oils and they may seem good but for the price point I think Monica Vanille nailed it and it's not I mean some of us have hundreds of dollars worth of razors and soaps and stuff so $25 for a pretty big bottle of pre-shave oil is not bad Against the grain. Still on setting three. I think the Taiga is very similar to how I felt with the Rocknell Sailor where it's not as efficient as the Rex Ambassador but they both hold the blade really flat I thought I got a bump I mean I have a bump but I thought I lopped it off um, <clears throat> And the problem for me with that is it seems really bitey. And what I mean by that is you can feel the blade edge really well. And yes, I like blade feel, but I want it to be smooth too. Like I want the clamping to be there. And it feels like the clamping on the Taiga and the Rocknell, from my experience, the 2021 Sailor, had that blade feel, but not the clamping that the Rex Ambassador or the console has. I, again, I really enjoy this razor. It is very smooth and efficient. Um, I don't, I don't have many gripes about it other than I wish they kind of torque the blade a little bit more down. I think that would help with the clamping. Well, I'm definitely not selling this one. I made a mistake selling my first Tiger. <clears throat> Alright. I spread some lather on my face. Pulled it out of my beard. Yeah, touch up this part of my neck. I'm off today, so I'll be doing some chores and going to the gym and smelling good while I do it. Again, scent quality is very good on this. Not only how nice it smells, but it fills the room up, which I need, like I, that's what I need to enjoy a scent, is how strong it is. Oh, 
got myself on my corner of my mouth right here. Nothing major. All right, I'm gonna rinse off. And I stopped using the Allen block. Um, I've been not using that for a few weeks now. I guess since my last video. And instead what I've been doing is I'll do a warm water rinse and a cold water rinse. And then I'll use that witch hazel that I've got. Which is the T.N. Dickinson's <laughs> which is, I don't know where I got this from uh, probably Walmart or something definitely got BBS um, yeah good results and then I forgot to mention I purchased the Seaforth or the Spearhead C4 Black Watch um, soap and aftershave from the Razor Company. They had good prices on there and free shipping after 35 bucks, I think. So I was going to get it directly from Spearhead, but I'd rather save a few bucks on shipping. So I'm gonna shake it up. This is the aftershave with alcohol. I also has witch hazel in there. So there's the ingredients, if you can see that. I'm gonna let the witch hazel dry a little bit more on my face. Probably use a little bit too much. Um, I'm gonna look to see if they have an EDT or EDP of this um, or if there's some um, dupe or something. I don't know what this is based off actually. I'll have to do some research on their website. So, but it's a very nice scent. I really enjoy this and I would actually buy a fragrance of it or similar to it. <clears throat> Splash comes out easily through the restrictor. Okay, so with the splash, I get a lot more of the bergamot and the plum. That's really nice. So less leather with the splash and more of the jasmine, bergamot, and plum to my nose. Skin feels good. Very, I didn't even feel any burning. Just very like, like a little like ting right here. And then it went away after a second, but no burning with that alcohol splash and alcohol is the first ingredient so that tells me there's a decent amount in there um, but my skin feels good um, it is pretty cold outside so if I feel like it it's going to dry up I might use some um, some of this mysterium serum I might if it depends on how how my skin feels going outside but that smells great that's really, really nice. If you like a masculine, um, strongly scented, but not overpowering, it's probably like a six and a half at the most for me, but it's just a nice, well-rounded, well-blended scent. It's really nice. And I waited until the very end to give Adam a shout out because I don't know if he's gonna make it this far. Um, he's the one that pushed me multiple times to try this out. 
So when I made a post, again, Jim was very nice to um, send me a sample. Um, but Adam did push me to try and he knew I would like it because he knows my tendencies. I'm not, um, I'm very, very consistent, I think, in that. But yes, Adam, you did push me to get this, so thank you, sir. Um, but we'll see if he makes it this far to get that recognition. Um, but that's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.